all of you. I am Assistant Professor Urmi Shah from ITICT Department of LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So today we will be starting with a newer subject of your seventh semester that is telecommunication engineering. Basically, the word telecommunication means we are communicating or we are having the information passage from one point to another point. So, telecommunication engineering subject deals with the basic transfer of information or message from one form to another form or from one point to another point. So basically telecommunication engineering is going to teach you how in different form or how with different technology upgradation and with different technology standards we can have communication between two person or two devices. So that is all about telecommunication engineering. Welcome to the first session of telecommunication engineering. In today's session, we will be starting with the first unit and the overview of telecommunication. So firstly, let's start understanding where telecommunication is used. What are the different applications of telecommunication? What is the syllabus? What is the content of telecommunication? That we will be looking in this session. So let's start with the session. So basically, this will be the outline of our today's session. In this session, we are going to cover following topics that is application of telecommunication engineering then contents of telecommunication engineering which will be basically telling us about the syllabus or what are the units and chapters included in telecommunication engineering subject. Basically you all know that this subject is a professional core subject which is offered to all of you in 7th semester so this is a compulsory subject in ICT SEM 7 and in this subject we are going to follow 302 credit that is the same which we had for rest of the subjects. So let's move ahead with the applications of telecommunication engineering. So basically uh, you might have seen lots of applications in your day to day life but you might not have thought that this will fall under the category of telecommunication engineering. So one of the first application in this category is telegraph and telephone. In the previous uh, old days, people used to write letters and then they used to post it to the person whosoever they want to share the message. But after the technology advancement from telegraph to telephones, from telephones to mobile phones and cell phones and from that to laptops, video calls, every era technology emerged at every stage. And now we are easily able to communicate via various other media of communication. So this was the origin of telecommunication engineering. This were the applications from where the telecommunication engineering field started exploring. The another application is radio and television. Now there is not a single home where you won't find that televisions are available. In previous days we had a very big boxes size televisions. Now we all have LCD screen televisions, LED TVs. So this is the advancement in the field of telecommunication engineering. FM radio is a very very used application in olden days as well as in today's era. FM radio stations are available in your particular area. Nearby area can capture the radio station and then you can listen news, songs, other informations 
and you can have lots of sources for entertainment. So these are the applications of telecommunication. Now some of the very serious applications which helped our country in advancement are related to satellite communication. So that's where also telecommunication is involved whenever we are communicating with our planetary bodies. So that is the role of satellite. Then next application is in computer networks and internet. See, basically telecommunication is something where you can communicate between two devices or two mediums or two persons. So in computer networks as well, we are having an application of telecommunication where via one or more network we are connecting our devices and media. In so these are all applications of telecommunication engineering. Further, if we move ahead, more devices we are connecting together, the internet connectivity or the internet speed required, all these technologies are related to the applications of telecommunication engineering. Then further we have optical fiber communication. Via optical wires, via optical cables, we are able to connect devices over radio wave, over satellite. So all these fields are having the applications of telecommunication engineering. Now let's see or let's visualize what are the other applications of telecommunication engineering. So this is the very basic you can see is telegraph and telephone. So these are the application in olden days people used to have a writing habit of telegraph and then they used to send the telegraph to long distances and then people used to communicate after a long days. Then the other technology is telephone. People used to connect via telephone system, via cable telephone system if they are able to receive the call if they are at home. But you cannot carry this system portably. You cannot carry it while traveling. But the advancement in this is also again mobile communication. So this way the technology become evolving day by day with different advancements in telecommunication engineering. Then the next application is radio, television. So these are the very basic requirements in our day to day life. We all are observing these applications. So this is what via a medium we are able to survey or we are able to pass on some information or message that is the basic application of telecommunication engineering. Nextly, we have the satellite communication in space. If we want to communicate with the planetary bodies, with the space solar system, then we require something which can communicate via Earth to other planets. So that is the role of satellite communication. Then the connectivity of internet in nowadays is a must requirement wherever you go. Wi-Fi, your data pack is a must. All of you are using internet in the specially COVID times. You all are learning online. You are having online sessions. So everyone is now surrounded via internet, Wi-Fi facility. So this is where the application of telecommunication comes. It includes both types of application, wired as well as wireless. Nowadays, we are living in an era of wireless where we don't require any specific wired connection, but via router or via server, we are able to connect lots of devices. So that is the application of telecommunication engineering. Then further application is optical fiber. Optical fibers is a field where we require optical communication via some optical devices like light, laser, diode, LEDs, all these devices are used and based on those devices we are connecting them via cable for having a proper communication. So this is where the application of telecommunication engineering comes. Moving forward, let's understand what are the contents of this 
course what are the topics or what are the syllabus which you are going to learn in this course so the first chapter is related to electronic switching systems first chapter we are going to discuss is electronic switching system how the different switching systems were evolved what are the different techniques what are the switching networks that we will be studying in this course see this course is uh, having a lot of theory a lot of technology advancement and related to that lots of concepts are there so just you have to understand the theoretical concept and then you will be easily able to understand the topics so in this unit we are going to learn following topics that is basics of a switching system then electronic space division switching then stored program control then we have centralized spc that is stored program control then distributed stored program control enhanced services and next week we will be learning about the other topics that is time division switching time division space and time division time switching then we will be learning about the different multiplexing technique that is time multiplex space switching then based on the time multiplexing we will have different stages that is two stage three stage n stage combination switching how different switching techniques were evolved that we will be learning in this unit secondly the another chapter deals with digital circuit switching networks what are the circuit trees or what are the networks which are involved in digital switching so that is what about this unit in this unit following topics we will be learning that is two stage network three stage network n stage network non blocking switches blocking probability analysis of multi state switches li approximation then what are the examples of digital switching system atnt 5 vss and nti dms 100 switching system so all these topics we will be acknowledging in this unit that is unit number 2 all about digital circuit switching networks then the third unit or the moving ahead next unit is about elements of traffic engineering we are able to connect different devices different networks but what if lot of information or lot of data is passed on all at a time at that time traffic is created over the data on which we are going to pass on from one device to another device so that is an example of traffic engineering so what are the elements which are involved in traffic engineering so this unit will cover following topics that is network traffic load and parameters then next we we have is grade of service and blocking probability incoming traffic and service time characterization blocking models and loss estimates relay systems so all these topics we are going to cover in chapter number 3 that is elements of traffic engineering nextly in the another unit that is chapter number 4 it will be dealing with the telephone networks in telephone networks we will have following topics that is subscriber loop system switching hierarchy and routing then transmission plan numbering plan charging plan so all these topics are included in chapter number 4 chapter number 5 deals with data networks in data networks we will be learning about what is data transmission in pstn that is public switch telephone network switching techniques for data transmission data communication architecture link to link layers and and layers then we will be learning about satellite based data networks lan connection end to metropolitan area network so all these things will be covered in unit number 5 then we will be learning about fiber optic networks and data network standards and moving forward we will be discussing about chapter number 6 that is signaling 
In this chapter, we will be learning about customer line signaling, outband signaling, inband signaling. Then we will be dealing about PCM signaling. In that, we will be learning about inter-registered signaling, common channel signaling principles, and CCITT signaling system, which will include a 77 standard, which has SS7 as standard. So that we will be learning in this chapter about the signaling standards via which standard you can have your signal propagation via which media your signal will travel over communication channel so this are the six unit in telecommunication engineering and this we will be learning in this course so this was an introduction to telecommunication engineering subject and following our reference books for telecommunication engineering subject. One of the finest book for this course is the first book that is by Vishwanathan T which includes the name telecommunication system and networks. Rest of the books are also good. You can also refer the technical publication which is already available. So, these are the references which you can refer for this course. Thank you for watching this session. In the next session, we will be moving ahead with the first chapter and the starting of our course content.